Taurus, hey, what's going on? Thank you so much for your time. We're going to go ahead and get into your love energy reading for the month of November of 2023. Energies for Taurus. Taurus sun, moon, rising. Venus, as well as the Taurus lover, if you're here in the house. Let's go ahead and get right on into the energies. My name is Antoine, and again, thank you so much for your time today. All right, so Taurus, we have flighty. We have a flighty energy here, okay? And then under the deck, we have hot lover. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, well, you know, Taurus, the thing that I feel here is there's this huge attraction that I feel like you're um that you're headed towards this month in November. And then it's like, but when you get it, there's a hesitation. So it's like you finally get the courage to, or better yet, you finally have an opportunity to get to know someone on a deeper level. And then you freeze. Or it could be vice versa, Taurus, where this is like where, you know, You're giving uh, you give someone an opportunity to to get to know you more, and then and then all of a sudden like they become unresponsive. There's like a ghosting energy to this as well, um, and I'm sorry to say that sometimes for, for excuse me for some of you it kind of feels like it comes after a moment it comes after the moment of being physical with this person. So you've already been physical with this person to some degree. And then now all of a sudden you're not hearing from them or maybe they're not hearing from you. But the energy is fear-based. Now, I will say this could have been some red flags that you've noticed here, Taurus, with this individual. And so which is why you just decided, hey, I'm going to keep it as, you, you know, what happened, right? We hooked up or we hung out. You know, I saw that there wasn't much there. And so I'm going to chill on that. Or it's, or it's quite the opposite where there was such an overstimulation of emotion that you, that you choke. You freeze up. So let's pull some tarot and just go ahead and get down to the bottom of what this energy is, Taurus. All right, so we have the Six of Pentacles. I'm hearing an excuse. We'll get there, but but Spirit is telling me excuses. Like, <laughs> like in your mind about this, a part of you has been just trying to come up with reasons why it won't work out. Like, oh, I got obligations here. I got obligations here. I, don't, I can't put too much on my plate. That's part of it. Eight of Cups. Hmm. Ten of Swords, Three of Cups. Yeah, see, the thing is that you're you're looking for, you're looking for camaraderie, you're looking for companionship, and then you find it, and then it automatically gets you. You sabotage it, and why is that, Taurus? Why is that? Ten of Pentacles. So we've got the Ten of Pentacles coming out under the deck. It's looking like right now here with this Ten of Swords energy. There's a, oh, okay. So there's a fear here of it being or it seeming too perfect, too stable. What does that mean, Taurus? Like, isn't that what you're looking for? Isn't that what you want? Stability? Isn't that what, what you walked away from before? Or excuse me, isn't that why you walked away from certain things before? Was because you were in search of a particular type of stability? 
someone who's good at equal give and take, someone that you actually do have a good time with. So, so what's the issue? <laughs> what, what's what's going on here, Taurus? Let's go ahead and pull some more cards. Where, where where's this fear coming from? So we have the chariot. Mm, okay. We have the chariot. We have the princess of pentacles or the page of pentacles. We have the tower. Mm. Eight of pentacles. Okay. Under the deck, we have the five of Excuse me, not the five of, but the Hierophant, <laughs> which is represented with the number five. Um, listen, what I feel, Taurus, here, I, I, I see where the fear is. I see where the fear is. The fear here is that, see, you, whatever you walked away from in the past, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like you thought that you were really getting anywhere with that. Whether it was a love situation, it, it, it is pretty much like a love situation. Like it feels like you didn't you didn't get anywhere with that with that you wanted to be able to branch out onto your own path and you were able to do that for yourself. Now, what it feels here in this moment, it feels as though it feels as though as you're trying to break free of whatever it is that you were leaving, as you're beginning to meet new people. Yes, you're meeting new people and yes, you're having a time with them for a while, but it's something about the realization with these people. It feels as though like the realization that you're having with them feels as though like they aren't all that much removed from the type of person that you've dealt with before. Or there is just something about them that maybe triggers that type of response from you. It feels like also they may be a part of some sort of organization here with the higher front, the tower. It feels like they may be a part of some sort of organization that you don't necessarily feel as something that you want to be a part of. Um, what's this thing that I'm feeling? So like if you've dealt with someone in the past who was like a part of like maybe some sort of like religious organization, I'm not going to say like a cult because that's not what I'm feeling, but maybe, you know, um, but anyways, um, all jokes aside, if you've dealing with, if you've dealt with someone who was like just a part of some sort of maybe fraternity, sorority, uh, just societal organization of some sort, it feels like you were very stiff and rigid there and you don't want to be backed into those same sorts of scenarios. So yes, you are meeting new people, but I feel like you're also seeing that, you know, some of the things that they're a part of as well aren't necessarily things that you agree with. And so there's this realization moment of, of knowing that, you know, or I guess the realization, the, the, the freezing that you're having, the hesitation in that moment is when you're realizing like, oh. And so that's where that fear is coming from, I feel, honestly, Taurus. But we do have the Eight of Pentacles here. The Eight of Pentacles is on the row here next to the Six of Pentacles. Um, this this is actually quite hopeful in the end. It's still telling me, Taurus, that there's still some work that you need um, to do. There's still some healing that you need to do. Okay. Obviously, you're not quite ready for a relationship, even though you are meeting people that you feel like you're attracted to. Maybe you're just not attracted to some of the things that they're involved in. Some of the things that they're involved in may kind of trigger you a little bit. And so it's just like, uh, once you realize that, it's like you freeze. But let me know how this is working out, Taurus. I hope I hope that made sense. <laughs> I hope you were able to understand. Um, you guys are awesome. And I hope to see you in the next message. Bye.